Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're taking a look at fashion. You know I love doing these. These are just so much fun to me. We look at Cora, which is like an online question and answer situation. And boy, do the answers get fun. People answer questions about Megan's terrible fashion choices. And I chime in with my own answers. And I can't wait to read your answers in the comments. So let's take a look at what people are asking now about Meghan Markle and her, um... Interesting choices, shall we say. And also, look at me. Does Meghan Markle have unique style and fashion choices when compared to other royals? Pfft, come on. Allow me to recommend this video to you. It's one that I made a little while back. It's um, it's under Meghan Markle Fashion Fails. And uh, it's where I put, I show Catherine and Meghan at the same events in completely different outfits and just it kind of highlights how wrong Megan seems to get everything and uh, it's fun to watch so definitely check that out if you haven't already. So again the question was <laughs> her unique style and fashion choices compared to other royals and Julie right off the bat says nope she's very sloppy looking to which I say Hong Kong you must be an honorary drunk goose. Um, yeah she is very sloppy looking and I mean I mean, I've been able to make so many videos of messy because of it. So thank you for always being messy. No, she really is. We talk about it all the time. It was the worst. She never dresses great, but it seemed to be the height of all time awfulness when she was actually a member of the royal family, you know, for those 72 engagements. But uh, yeah, woo, I, I, she must have been involved in some sort of bet or something. So in regards to her unique style, this person says, yeah, she does. It's called trash. <laughs> okay. So when I read this, I laughed and thought of this outfit because it always kind of looks like it's sponsored by Hefty and diapers. Unique is one word for it. She has all this money, yet <laughs> nothing she wears fits her properly. Yeah, which I read into that is zero Fs were given. She when she had the height of her money and access to things, I would say when she was, you know, a member of the royal family, 72 engagements, uh, she had access to everything. And yet these are some of the looks we got from her. Yikes. How many times has Meghan Markle's fashion gone wrong? Oh boy, we might be here for a little while. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did, did you want to take this one or did you want me to answer me? Oh, okay. Okay. Let me just tell you. She gets it wrong every single time. Every single time. <laughs> I've never seen her get it right. Okay, I think in another video I talked about like two outfits that weren't as bad. But all of these are examples of some of the worst. God, there's so many. So many. Guys, while I got you here, there's something else we need to talk about. I don't think I've ever talked about it in a video. I talked about it on Patreon, but I haven't done it over here. I don't have enough to make a full video out of. But I would like to go ahead and talk about this. What's going on with this? No, seriously, what's happening here? Um, <laughs> does anybody want to tell her? Uh, <laughs> your makeup's all um, a little smeared. <laughs> now, one of you very brilliant people, I wish I had your username in front of me. I don't. Had this idea that you think that she addresses, she and Harry both always look messy and rumpled. So you think, ooh, they just... The, the hippity dippity, right? And so they had that sexy look. No, I mean, yes, you're probably right, but no, they missed the mark big time. And I thought, well, maybe she was going that way and trying to be messy with her makeup too. I don't know what's going on. So Debbie says every time she goes out, her clothes never fit her right. She dresses for the body she wishes she had instead of the one she actually has. She's built like, you guys, I'm so sorry. She's built like SpongeBob square pants, a square boxy body with skinny bony legs and big feet. All right, so I'm not here to talk about anybody's body. I, I don't think that's cool, but I will talk about what a terrible dresser she is and how she doesn't dress for her body shape. Um, yeah, I think it just goes to the overall mess messy sorry I almost said it wrong um the overall messy look of it always just a wrinkled mess and there's just no reason for it there's no excuse there's no reason I mean most of us wouldn't show up in our you know whatever target 
wherever you shop, Banana Republic, whatever, wardrobe, to our jobs like this. I just can't even imagine showing up as a member of the royal family like this. I, it, it truly baffles me and blows my mind. Said in a different video, but it still applies, which is, she must have some sort of magic mirror because, or voices in her head, I'm not sure, because she looks at herself and says, dang, I look good, you know? Whereas <laughs> mine is the opposite kind of mirror where I look at myself and go, oh my gosh, what is happening today? <laughs> what am I wearing? What am I doing? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> she seems to have the opposite problem. It would be easier to count the fingers on one hand when her fashion had gone right. Yeah, same. I talk about this in another video as well. Somebody had asked, or several of you had asked, is there any time you feel like she got it right? I put up my examples. I'll put them back up here in case you guys want to talk about it real quick. So I talked about this one before. I do like this dress. This is by Halo, I think you guys said in the comments. I like the asymmetrical neckline. I don't like the belt up under her boobs again, but I think she just likes to do that. I would, I don't know, I would wear the belt a little lower, but I think it's a pretty dress and I actually like the shoes she's wearing it with it too. I like the blue dress she wore here. I, I'm i partial to blue, so anything blue usually catches my eye. So I do like the shades of blue. I would totally wear this dress. And then I just found this one. I don't even know when or where this is from, but I found this picture this is the dress. I, I'd have to see it standing up. I, I, she probably belted up under the tits. I don't know, but I like this dress. I, I'm not even a huge green fan, but I'm drawn to this green and I like the, there's actually that keyhole neckline I kind of like. I don't understand putting purple pumps with it. Maybe I'm not fashionable enough, but I don't get that at all. But I do, I, I don't hate this dress. So there, there's three examples. See, I'm not biased. <laughs> I just hate most of her clothes. <laughs> Pretty much 99% of her clothes, all but these three. 100% of the time she wears any piece of clothing, even when she tries to copy Catherine, it's a disaster. Her choices do not complement her figure at all. You guys, my favorite <laughs> example of this is to show you, I believe these were worn a month apart. Catherine wore hers to the Top Gun premiere first, and then Megan's was soon after. And oh boy, did it go wrong. All right, here's Catherine. God, I love this dress so much. I mean, I love her, but this dress, ah, it's gorgeous. Talk about a statement dress. Woo, looking good. Okay, <laughs> I'm fawning over Catherine. Look how beautiful, love it so much. Love the white detail around the shoulder. She looks great, radiant, right? Absolutely gorgeous. And then not quite the same effect. So this is a jumpsuit. This is a choice. There's a cutout in the back. It's not good. It's not good. And then Lisa says, um, whenever she's left the house or yacht, LOL. <laughs> Whoopsies. What are the most inappropriate clothes Meghan Markle has ever worn in public? Oh, so many fun answers for this one. You know what immediately springs to my mind? This one. Are they on vacation at the beach, you ask? Oh, no, they're on a royal tour. They're actually on royal duties. And yes, sometimes you see them dressed down for things you know, like meet and greets and stuff, but um, never seen this on a royal at a royal <laughs> at a royal duty. <laughs> that's a that's a lot we're seeing there, huh? Okay. This person asks, or sorry, answers every single thing. She has no sense of the decorum required for special occasions. Ding ding ding. Megan fancies herself a movie star, so she always dresses to attract as much attention as she can to pose and paste on her permanent smile despite the occasion. Plus, she thinks she has a great body, so always chooses clothes that emphasize her thick, high waist and spindle legs. This woman desperately, desperately, let me put a point on that, needs a stylist. Now, what? That's my pretend shock voice. Why would they say such a thing? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can see it in the picture here. The <laughs> you guys, this is the one I called the crumple up piece of shit <laughs> because it is. It's a crumpled up piece of bubble gum, I guess. I, yeah, it's not good. And yeah, everything that person said, you can see right here in this picture. Enjoy. Question, what was Meghan Markle's boldest public appearance? Answer, trotting down the aisle. 
swathed in virginal white for her third marriage on the arm of Prince Charles when she had a living father who was conveniently not invited. All right, this answer has me cracking up. I love it so much. And you know what haunts my nightmares? These two pictures right here, this picture I'm showing you, and this one. Absolutely haunts my nightmares. It's very much, look at me. But also, I mean, well, it's it's finding the camera. It's being smug. But it's kind of that cat that swallowed the canary, right? Very proud of herself. And then her favorite, which is that coquettish thing where she like, ooh, me, and covers her mouth and stuff. But then here she's winking. I find that so weird. If I found pictures of Jay winking in our wedding photos, I'd be like, what the hell are you doing? Did you have something in your eye? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> but she looks like she got away with something, and I guess she kind of did here. Wow, we found somebody that doesn't like her more than us? Possibly. I don't know if that's possible. Here we go. <laughs> Mistress California Mountbatten Windsor. Maybe soon to be Spencer? <laughs> Epitomizes superficial Everything about her is superficial. Every word she utters is superficial. This person really likes the word superficial. Every trend upon which she leaps is purely superficial on her part. She bounces from here to there to somewhere, then elsewhere, leaving nothing of substance behind. I mean, this person isn't wrong, but this was in the fashion section <laughs> of, uh, of these questions. So I, I found it very funny. So I just wanted to include it. So there you go. If it's one of you that wrote it, well, honk honk, you drunk goose. I love it. And then this person asks, does Meghan Markle have a pretty waistline? All right. I know that's a rough question. I don't like to go there either. But there were some funny responses to it. That's what I'm getting at. Again, I, I'll make fun of her lack of fashion choices all day long. I'm not into talking about, like, body stuff. Okay, and then this person replies, she does not appear to have a waistline. That could, that could be because of her terrible choice of clothes. Or it could be she has a square figure. Yee. I would just say it's time to move past the boat neck. The boat neck doesn't help. And I love a boat neck, but this isn't it. Gotta move past the trench dress. Oh my God. That girl loves trench anything. If it's got two rows of buttons, she's all for it. Ugh. Then this person writes, actually, she looks like a bag lady. No matter how many thousands of dollars in flash she wears. But I must say the puke green dress was one of the worst. Oh, you mean this one? Super Kermit. I can't take credit for the Kermit thing. I think HG Tutor calls her that, but it just fits so well. It's not easy being green. <laughs> oh my gosh. Seriously. I agree. This is one of the worst. And, and honestly, at this angle, it's better than the others. Allow me. Here's the view from the front. <laughs> Hello, strapless bra. I see you. You're looking at me. I'm looking at you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is proof right here that her stylist hates her or that she doesn't have one. But I remember seeing this, I think, in the Netflix. I've watched so much crap. The Netflix one, maybe, um, where the woman was, like, draping it on her while she was whining about whatever she was whining about at the moment. And here we are at the back, you guys. I don't understand any of this. I don't understand how you see this and go, yeah. Yeah, I look really good. <laughs> it's really bad. I Okay, I don't normally talk like or talk about this, but I'm going to talk about it. You can see her underwear line, right? I mean, that's, you guys see that too? <laughs> her bra was staring at me. Now her underwear is staring at me and I feel very uncomfortable. No, but um, it's just, it's not good. It's really not. It pulls in all the wrong places. Again, I don't care what her body is. I'm just saying she picks the complete wrong outfits. I don't know how you see this and go, yeah, I look good. I want to look like I got caught in a door and that it pulled the fabric and that I'm choking on this cape. <laughs> it's pulling my neck. What are some fashion accidents that Meghan Markle has experienced? Ooh, is that a nicer way of saying it? Like she accidentally put on that stupid green outfit? Okay, this person replies, the white linen dress with the package fold still in it, I'm guessing from where she had it shipped, I don't know, uh, appears to have been 
or, sorry, been no accident. Someone just doesn't know that linen needs to be ironed. You guys, I forgot about this stupid dress. We've seen it before. It's real bad. <laughs> I understand she's just out running errands, but it's real bad. All right. This person says you're joking, right? She has no fashion sense whatsoever. Her clothes are either way too big and baggy or too tight and mismatched. And I thought, you know what? They make such a good point. That's exactly what it is. They, they're they never, we're never Goldilocks, right? It's never just right. It's too big or it's too small. Yeah, it's never altered right. So here you go. Too big, too big, <laughs> and too big. And then at other events, you just see like, it's way too small. The top's way too small. It's actually pulling at the fabric. It's too small. It doesn't make any sense. And then the mismatch thing. This is all I could think of when I saw the mismatch thing. Different color whites on the shirt and the skirt. And again, belted under the boobs. I can't with that. But <laughs> I've gone in on this outfit. I hate this outfit so much. She learned one trick from Suits about a white shirt. And she just wore it all the time for no reason. Um, but yeah, mismatched clothes. And then she went the extreme opposite and went matchy-matchy and looked like the Joker. Don't you worry, she fixed it all in one dress. My favorite, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> she got all of it in one dress. Think about it, too loose in parts, too tight in parts, too little fabric in parts, too much fabric in other parts. Hey, at least the thing matches itself, even though she was not supposed to wear this color. Yeah, she managed to pull off all of them in one dress. Congratulations, that takes talent. Oh my goodness, you guys, it, it actually stresses me out when I see this dress. It does, it gives me anxiety. It flares up my anxiety. <laughs> it's just so much. It's so much going on here, right? And then the, the spray tan. Oh, I've said it before. It's weaponized spray tan at this point. It really is. So much going on. So smug. Oh, the smugness. Man, I wish I had... I don't know, a fraction of her smugness. I'd feel much better. I mean, I'd be delusional, but I'd be much better. <laughs> oh, goodness. Woo, this dress will never not be funny to me. I said in a different video, I will be wearing this dress to a meet and greet with you guys. I just need to make it out of construction paper and some, I don't know, those craft noodles and some, some hot glue. I'm not sure. It'll be fun, though. I look forward to that. <laughs> Oh man, you guys, this was so much fun. I love doing these fashion ones. They really crack me up. I get to laughing so hard. I really like, I'll sit here. The, these videos take so much longer from the, than the regular ones, but I don't care. I love them because I just find myself laughing and Googling. Like I'll get ideas in my head of what photos I want to pull. And then I sit here and I laugh and I Google as I go back through the horrible clothes. And again, 72 engagements. That's all we're talking. So it's not like there's, you know, a billion to choose from. She just chose wrong every single time. There's that trench thing she, she loves so much. Ugh, so much going on. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for being here, you drunk goose. Honk, honk. Drunk goose club. Woohoo. Oh my gosh. I appreciate you all so much. I really do. I couldn't do this without you. I thank you for everything. Thank you for watching. Thank you for laughing along with me. I always ask a question in the comments. I can't remember now because I've stopped this video and walked away from it. And I came back. I can't remember if I asked a question in this one. So, hmm. If you had to, had to wear one of the outfits shown in this video. And I and no, you can't pick one of the ones that I picked as good. You have to pick one of the bad ones. You have to. You have to wear it to, I don't know, our meet and greet. When, when we do a meet and greet and I wear that stupid red dress and I make it out of construction paper, you've got to wear something. What are you wearing? In another video, I suggested that horrible mesh black dress. Pick again. What, what do you want to wear to our meet and greet? Can't wait to see your horrible choices. <laughs> if it's not shown here, then just describe it to me because I probably know what you're talking about. But I can't wait to see your choices. Hey, and if you're a guy, play along too. If you want to wear that stupid what uh, wrinkled up Dior suit that uh, Dumbo wore to uh, a coronation, please let me know. I look forward to seeing you as a wrinkled mess. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and for being here. I appreciate it so much. I truly do. Check out the merch. We got Drunk Goose Club Honk Honk. I love that so much. It's still my favorite. 
Um, make it make sense. Recollections may vary. World of Megan's be it Catherine. We got all of that stuff. So check that out. We also have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Real Housewives Recaps. That's where we do like bonus deep dives. Jay's on there with me quite a bit. We do a lot of silly stuff. We say the stuff we can't always say over here. We go in deep. Uh, so check that out as well as um, we have the executive producers and I'm going to thank them right now and you can become one at Patreon.com. A huge thank you to Linda. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you to Paige. Huge thank you to Teresa. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Shauna. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Aaron and Frank. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Ann M. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Ann H. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Glennis. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Adair Becker. Thank you to Erica. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Annette. Thank you, Barb G. Thank you to Diana. Thank you, Allison B. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Lori. Thank you to Pauline. Thank you to KT. Thank you, Jolene. Thank you, Stromboli. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Loey. Thank you, Lucy H. Thank you to Georgia. Thank you, Susie. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Robin's Landing. Thank you to Helen. Thank you to Mara. Thank you, Ashley C. Thank you to Molly. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Sand Squid. Thank you to Rach. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you, Dee Dee. Thank you, Nina. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Penny. Thank you, Dombey. Thank you, Android P. Thank you to Sheena. Thank you, Aaron M. Thank you, Faye. Thank you, Judith. Thank you, Spectrum Mom. Thank you, Vanessa B. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Mimi Heathcote. Thank you, Misty. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Leslie. Thank you to Bree. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you to Elvis Rose here on YouTube. Thank you to Lori. Thank you, Tim B. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Elisa. Thank you, Kathy with a C. Thank you, Allison. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you to Patricia. Thank you, Lindsay. Thank you, Ridley. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, John. Thank you, Donna D. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Chewy. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, 509 Cougs. Thank you, Jagorn. Thank you, BJ. Thank you, Big Bad John. Thank you, Amy. Well, I so appreciate you all. Thank you if you are on the Patreon. Thank you if you're an executive producer. And hey, if you're not, definitely check it out. We have a lot of fun over there. Guys, I hope you have the best day, and I will talk to you again soon. Can't wait to bring you another video like this. Take care. Bye-bye. <music>